Hello everyone, this is Nidhi here. In this video, we will explore how to parse JSON output in Ansible and use set fact module of Ansible for the variable creation based on the JSON output. Let's take an example here. You have an application where you want to make some API call to search anything. So in my case, I am searching for particular global groups. And depending on the result of that API call, you want to run your playbook and set some variables. So let's see how we can do that. So I am writing a playbook and trying to search for the group test underscore group. So how you can write it in the Ansible playbook? You have to use the URI module that is used to call the web services. And this would be the URL of your applications. It could differ according to your applications. I have just taken an example here. And this would be the method as get. There could be the post also. But right now we are trying to fetch something and get the JSON output. So obviously it would be the get. And you have to pass the username and password, basic authentication, written content, and the headers. It's application JSON. Ignore errors, true. So this you can set as true if you want your playbook to continue running the subsequent task and you don't want your playbook to fail. So you can just use the ignore errors as true. And this is the register. So this is the variable that in Ansible you can use to store the result of this API in some variable. So this result will store all the JSON details from this API whenever you execute the playbook. So this is how you can make your playbook and then you want to use it. So first thing you want to see how you want to see in which format you are getting the results. So for that, you can use the debug modules. Debug modules is used for store for output purpose. It's like a print something. And here you put the message and this is the result, right? So and there is a different formats like you can do result or JSON list and there could be other formats also that you can check it on the Ansible documentation list. So when when I will run this uh, playbook, I will get this JSON output. This is the sample JSON output that I will get once I run that playbook. So here you can see this is from here it starts and this is the content and in content I can see this paging page index, page size, it is giving me all the details and this is the total. This gives me that, okay, this is the count of the total. I mean, it, it, it is able to search that global group and found that it is uh, count as one, right? And this is the JSON groups where it gives you the detail of the group, like this is the group name, how many members in the group, things like that. So now, first thing I want to parse the total, how many groups with that name is exist, right? So for that, I will be using the variables. So for the variables, you can use the set fact and this would be the my new variable name. And now this is the main code, how you will parse it. So this is the result and I showed you that this is the content. So result is the variable that we declared in the playbook and then dot content. Then you will use this from JSON and you'll make the JSON query as paging dot total. So you can see this content and under that it is the paging dot total. So this will give you the output of one. So this is how you can parse the JSON. And now based on the result, you want to do something like in my example, I'm just including some email playbook. If total groups equals to zero, then send an email and I don't want to fail my playbook. It should run the subsequent task. So this is how you can do this part. Now, if I want to find the group, if group is exist, then I want to find the group name. See, it is so in this case, you can ask you are already providing the group name, then why you want to fetch the group name again. So in, in my example, uh, it is not uh, considering the case sensitive, right? If you are searching for the group, it is giving you uh, you can pass it in case sensitive like the capital or the lowercase. It doesn't matter. It will fetch it. But if you are using that global group to do anything else, then it needs exactly same matching as it is present in that application. So for that, I am just parsing it the exact name, whatever is present in the application. So for that, it's the same module from JSON. And then I create a JSON query and use the groups. You can see this is the groups. And in this, this is the first tag of this and this zero dot name. This is what I wanted to do. 
so this is how you can basically parse your json depending on your need and obviously the content the sample output of your json would differ but yeah this is just an example that you can follow and for more filtering in json you can check out this article on the ansible how you can filter for formatting data however you want to do it there is a lot of examples here that you can try to follow so yeah so in this basically you have successfully learned how you can parse json output in ansible and use set fact for the variable creation thank you